But what's this? Yeah, right. How's it going? We're back out in the lakes again today and we're up near uh, Hayeswater. Ulls Water is down that way and we're just up from Brothers Water. I think what we're going to do is head up and we're, we're either going to go left and go to Angle Town or we're going to go along that horizon and go to High Street. Done High Street loads of times so we're feeling like it's probably going to be Angle Town plus if you look down in the valley, all the clouds are coming. You might have also noticed that we brought Fleck. Come back to see me, bud. Fleck, say hi. And my dad is also up there. So, don't really know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna go up. Can you take Fleck a minute? Go on. Hey. You see quick bud. I need to get in there, bud. Come on, I need to get in there. Get down. Shit, bud. It's a rock. No. Leave it. Leave it. These guys are all baggy these Wainwrights. Look, this, this is the guy in orange, look. Alright? He went to do that. He went up there. Now he's had to drop all the way down here. Where's he off to? He's going back. He's going to have to take that back, isn't he? Yeah, that guy's doing it as well. He's going back up. Hey. It just takes you out of the way all the time, doesn't it? <laughs> the shelter behind this wall. Can you see? Were you looking? It was a good dog. Don't <laughs> go. No, no, stay, stay, stay. Hey, bud. We're just around the corner from Angle Town now. Um, I've grabbed a few landscape photos along the way. I'm quite liking this view down here onto. Um, Haze water. We were looking over the wall a minute ago and then Fleck jumped up. So we grabbed a photo there and I got a few of Fleck on the wall just on his own. But it feels like the sun might come down into the valley, down onto Brothers Water down there. So we might possibly walk down that way. Um, I'm just going to play it by ear again, but I think it's going to be. Uh, grey for most of it, but we'll just look for them sunny patches. That's a nav on the right. 
because I came up to this stone wall. Oh, yeah. I've got you. I know where we are now. That's where we pack. Yeah, that's the nab, isn't it? Yeah. Have yeah. you got your binos? Yeah. We've made it across to just above the Martindale Valley. My dad's got his binoculars, so we're going to have a quick um, scout of this valley because we're wanting to do some more deer photography soon because the rut's coming up. And it's just quite a long way to drive and come up here. So if we can see anything now, then we might come back in a week or so. Um, I didn't bring a long lens though, so we'll, you'll have to take my word for it. But what we're going to do now is yeah. Yeah. drop down. Yeah. My dad's just found some, there's like 20 of them. They're not even that far away. If I brought my 400 mil, I probably could have got these ones, but I didn't. Let's see if this works. Can you see anything through that? They're by that, that tree. I'm not sure what you can see though, but what we're going to do is drop down into Angle Town. It feels like the sun is coming out. I might have jinxed it, but we'll go and see. <laughs> it's windy, isn't it? We've made it up to the other side of Angle Tarn now and this is sort of like the first time we've stopped really. We've had a few breaks just sheltering from the wind like with that stone wall before. So haven't really stopped to do any pictures with you. They've all been handheld so far but I'm quite liking how there's a stone wall that's sort of snaking its way up. Got Angle Tarn in the bottom then you can look up to High Street. I might be wrong, but I think I can get that with 135 mil. So I'm going to try and change over, and then we'll grab that shot there. I had good intentions of showing you that shot then, but it was pretty straightforward. 135 mil and the polarizer, just taking the glare off the water, and we've got that storm wall leading up into the clouds. I've sort of got distracted by Fleck again, so. Got a few of him running around, playing with my dad and laying in the long grass. So there should be a few nice ones there to choose from. He's pretty happy. So we're going to have a bite to eat here. Then we're going to head across there because I think we're going to swing back down towards the car then. But hopefully we'll get a view across to Helvellyn and down onto Brothers Water. But, um, I kind of don't think the sun is going to come out. I kind of don't think. I don't think the sun is going to come out. That rain's a bit heavy now. Hey bud. Yeah, there's a lot of people down there, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, they're on the footpath, which is going that way. It's just been... Look that rain coming through. It's fairly brutal, so I'm not sure you can hear me, but we're getting this view back towards Brothers Water. A few minutes ago, it looked like the sun was going to break through, but it, it still sort of worked because it's sort of dark around the edges, 
and it's like a little bit colourful in the middle. Then we're getting this view across to the Grisdale Valley, so Helvellyn is off on that side. We had a better view from up there the other day. Then you can just about see Oldswater down there. But I've grabbed a few photos. I've probably put them on the screen while we're talking. But we're going to head that way and try and drop down into this valley now. Um, I try to multitask and do behind the scenes and pictures, but it, it wasn't working. Too windy. the plane. Yeah. I thought it might be two of them for one, wasn't it? We've dropped down quite a bit now and we're getting a view down onto Oldswater. I've grabbed a photo off on in that direction. There's a few sheep on the on this grassy patch down here and then you can see all the clouds that have rolled in. When I first got here it was a little bit clearer but it's like totally coming out and that rain's come back. Um, I have a feeling this is going to be like the last of our like looking down views. We might get some views up Oldswater and back up into the valley but um, I think I'm going to end the video here though because everything is soaked and yeah I just don't think we're going to get better views now. But I hope you like the video anyway. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, we've done quite a few with Fleck and I've done loads on these ones around here but if you want to see more videos like this please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help support the channel to make more videos, I've got um, prints and greetings cards over on adamcapper.co.uk. Fingers crossed there'll be some from like today's pictures, but I have a feeling there might be a lot of rain spots, but we'll see. If I get any more pictures, I'll add them on to the end, but I'll see you next time.